It's 2021, I'm 13 years old, and I'm obsessing over how rich people get rich. Now I have some money saved up over Christmases and birthday parties. I have about $800. Now by this time in early 2021, Wall Street was a big deal. I would hear about GameStop and AMC, these stocks and the stock market would go up by crazy amounts and people were getting rich in like a couple of weeks just by putting money into the stock market. Now I noticed my mom was actually into the stock market. Also my dad, she had a TD Ameritrade account. TD Ameritrade is just a broker that you could exchange money for stocks, etc. And I was thinking if I gave her like 400 bucks and I told her to put into whatever stock I wanted and maybe the, the stock would rise and I would get money. And that's exactly what I did. So I got $400, gave it to my mom, and we tried to figure out what to put it in. We eventually started to put my money into a stock that was called BNGO. You could search it up to this day. It's still going on. Um, we called it Bingo. When I bought the stock, it was at $2. Then after I bought it, it went down to $1.90, $1.80, $1.70. And I'm calling, I'm calling my mom Wow, she's at work, by the way. Mom, why did you tell me to invest in this stock? The money's going down. I'm losing money every day, etc., etc. And then a whole week goes by of me just calling her and complaining. And she eventually sells the stock. She sells all of the stock without telling me at first. And she gives all of my money back. Even though she sold it at a loss, she gave me my original 400, even though I deserve like 300, which just shows how loving and caring she is. I love my mom, by the way. A week later, I check the stock. It's back up at $2. It goes to $3. Holy shit. $4. $5, $6, and I, my mom sold the stock, so I'm checking. I see the stock literally doubled its price, more than doubled its price. So I look at my original investment, $400. If I bought at $2 and I sold it at 7 I missed out. Oh, I missed out on thirteen hundred dollars which was about seven hundred dollars in profit get the fuck, fucking fly flying around my room i missed out on seven hundred dollars profit because my mom sold the stock without telling me at at 13 years old i could have easily doubled my money but my mom sold the stock without telling me because i complained to her every day now whose fault was it that i missed out on this money it wasn't my mom's fault it was my fault of course because i kept on complaining and I literally chose the stock. I'm like, okay, I'll give you my money. I'll choose this. You pay for it or I'll pay for it. You give me the money back when I sell it. It's not my mom's fault. It's my fault. If I never complained, I would have still had that money today. Fast forward a week later after she sold it and I realized, you know, I was actually starting to cry. I was crying in my room. Oh, fuck. I missed out on $700 profit at 13 years old and I'm complaining to my mom. But then a couple days later, I'm over it. You know, I accept my losses. A week or two later, I check the stock again. It's at $16. I do the calculations. That's about $4,000 profit that I missed out on at 13 years old because I was complaining too much about the fucking 30 cent changes that happened, bro. It's not my mom's fault. It's my fault. She gave me my fucking money back at a loss. Now, now that I'm more mature... I look back at the story and I realize a very valuable, a valuable lesson. The universe is extremely given. Extre the universe is extremely giving. If you want a 10 out of 10 physique, an athletic body, ripped six packs abs, big shoulders, big arms, you can't have that. It's your fault that you're a fat. If you're a fat ass, whose fault is that? It's nobody's fault besides yours. So if you want that 10 out of 10 athletic physique, sure, it's going to take fucking two, three, four, five years, but you can get there. You can get there. It's your fault. You're a fucking fat ass if you are. If you're unathletic and you're skinny fat, it's your fault. If you're fucking weak as shit and you don't go to the gym, it's your fault. If you, okay, another example. I truly believe that if anyone genuinely wants to get rich they can get rich and you know everyone like everyone would like to have a lot of money and be wealthy but who wants 
to be rich. Those who truly want to be rich are rich because you could have anything that you want in life. No, not anything that you'd like. Everyone would like to be rich. Everyone would like to have the Lamborghini. Everyone would like to have like travel fucking half of the time. But yet nobody does because those who truly want it have it. You don't want it because if you wanted it, you would have it or at least you would grind every single day and continuously work until you had it. If you want Sorry, a little cut out in the video. My uh, battery percentage on my phone. If you want a fucking Lamborghini, you can have it. Everyone would like to get a Lambo, but those who truly want it are grinding endlessly every day to chase that goal. So what do you want? Not, I'm not asking you what would you like to have. I'm asking you, what do you actually want? Because that is uh, that is literally the wonder. That is literally the number one necessity that you need in your life. You need to figure out what you actually want to have, and then once you figure out one or two things that you actually want, you literally start dedicating your entire life to that goal. This is why people talk about purpose and chasing your dreams and finding your core inner desires. Is because people. You know, I would love to be a professional basketball player. I would love to um, own fucking dogs. I would love to write music. I would like to learn how to fucking figure skate. Not, I would not like... It's not enough to actually make me go train and be a fucking world star figure skater. I would like to figure skate, but it's not enough of a desire for me to go out of my way and dedicate my life to fucking figure skating. And that's the, that's the same thing with money for some people. Everyone would like to have some money, not enough to actually dedicate their fucking, dedicate 10 years to their life to making some fucking money. So what do you want? It's your fault. Anything bad in your life, if you're fat, you're weak, you're sitting in the house that's not your dream house, you're talking to this girl that's not going to be your future wife, it's your fault. Everything is your fault. You know, of course you could come out, come at me like, Marcus, if you get hit by a fucking bus when you're riding your bike or whatever, it's not your fault. Is Oh no, is I said that wrong. Marcus, if you get hit by a fucking bus, is that going to be your fault too? No. You know, major random accidents, you could also exclude this example. But let's be 100% honest. Everything bad in your life is your fault. Because who, who else's fault is it? And that's a good thing, by the way. If it's your fault, that means you're the only person who could fucking fix it. If you're poor and you want to be rich, you're the only motherfucker who's going to make that happen for you. So start grinding, man. I, this was Marcus Blake. If this was valid to you, tell me in the comments... Marcus, this video was dope. I, I hope to watch more. I need feedback. Marcus, make out.